outside the London offices of Hewlett Packard to demand Hewlett Packard stop its complicity in Israel's war crimes. Most people think of Hewlett Packard as an innocent office supplies and printer company, but the reality is far darker. Hewlett Packard is one of the top 20 arms companies in the US with arms sales worth $3 million in 2011. The Stockholm International Peace Research Institute has done the research and when they say arms sales, they define that as goods and services designed specifically for military purpose and doesn't include general purpose equipment like office computers. They also state that the figure may be underestimated as it doesn't include classified contracts that Hewlett Packard might be involved in. In Hewlett Packard's own words, Israel is one of the few countries where Hewlett Packard has a massive presence. In the past decade, Hewlett Packard has invested over $6 billion in the acquisition of Israeli companies, including the establishment of production plants. Hewlett Packard is the second largest investor in Israeli IT. Hewlett Packard implements and manages the server farm for the entire Israeli army and Ministry of Defense. Israel's largest server tender worth $140 million. Those HP servers form the IT backbone of the entire Israeli war machine which has been found guilty of war crimes and possible crimes against humanity by the UN Human Rights Council. was contracted to supply all computer equipment to the entire Israeli military. Shame on you, Hewlett Packard! Shame on you, Hewlett Packard! Hewlett Packard also provides Israeli prisons and interrogation centers the systems and servers needed to keep them operational. These dungeons and torture dens are where Palestinian children as young as 12 years old are brutally tortured and caged in one by three meter dark holes in the ground for months without charge or trial. Today, there are over 6,000 Palestinian political prisoners, including women and children, many caged without charge or trial. 72 Palestinians have been tortured to death in Israel. Since 1967, the latest being a father of five young children, Raid Abdul Salam Al Jabari, who died following interrogation at Eshel Prison on 9th September 9th, 2014. He had been arrested over a simple car accident involving an illegal Israeli settler. The Israeli prison service said he had committed suicide by hanging himself in his cell. But the autopsy revealed he had been savagely tortured with repeated blows to the head and face, causing brain hemorrhage. His neck showed no signs of hanging. Hewlett Packard keeps these hell holes operational with its IT infrastructure, services and servers. Shame on you, Hewlett Packard! Shame on you! Hewlett Packard! Shame on you! Hewlett Packard has also developed Israel's prisoners management system and intelligence subsystems, which helps the occupation keep illegal records of Palestinians it has abducted and their families. Female family members have been threatened with rape in order to coerce professions from children accused of stone throwing. Hewlett Packard is complicit in all these crimes. Thank you. 
been used by Israel at illegal checkpoints deep inside occupied territory to restrict and control Palestinian freedom of movement in their own land. It forms part of the separation world apparatus declared illegal by the International Court of Justice in 2004. We call on all people to boycott Hewlett Packard products until it stops its complicity with Israeli war crimes. Boycott Hewlett Packard! Boycott Hewlett Packard! Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Hewlett Packard and the torture and the killing of Palestinian children. Hewlett Packard and the torture and the killing of Palestinian people. Hewlett Packard, complicit in Israeli war crimes. Shame on you, Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard and the, and the torture and the killing of Palestinian children.